Yeah, this is one where they added a bunch of shit, too. Like the disruption class, the risk class. So we're, they're starting to dwell into more recent, kind of like. Before oh. it happened. Also, this is short, too. All that I know about this anomaly is um, content warning. There is, um, I believe there's talks about uh, abuse in a family in this anomaly. Oh. So, content warning. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh my gosh, I just realized. With that warning, the nickname for this, an for this anomaly is really fucked. <laughs> what is the name? You're all right again, my dear. Why does that sound like someone talking to an abu abused person? I don't know. Like assuring them, they'll never hurt you again. Yeah. So anyways, are you ready? Uh-huh. Item 4735. Level 3 Confidential. Containment class, safe. Disruption class, Vlam. Risk class, warning. Yeah. Special containment procedures. Any instances of SCP-4735 are to be pulled from the store shelves if an 4735 affected subject is discovered any blood relatives under the age of 11 are to be removed from their household under the guise of school camp until the instance of 4735 is removed from their household oh no i don't like this next sentence any children affected by 4735-1 are to be humanely euthanized oh, no. Wait, this is a safe class. <laughs> Description. 4735 refers to a series of canvas bags labeled as the All-in-One Child's Home Solution. Each bag has a card attached, all labeled the following. Welcome to your All-in-One Fully Inclusive Child Home Solution. Is your child packed out? Not eat their veggies? Get poor grades? Look no further. With all the new, all fun, at-home fixer kit, that's a problem of the past. Just use, apply drops of prep fluid, then use the magic no-no scissors. Bad little kids get the no-no scissors. We snip, snip, snip away the no-no-no until we find the yes-yes-yes underneath. Oh, no. Contents of the, of the kit include a standard surgical kit, along with an 8-ounce bottle des described as child preparative liquid, and scissors with no-no scissors engraved on the left blade. 4735 instances exact compulsory effects on their purchasers, adult females between the age of 35 to 55, who have at least one child under the age of 11. Typically, the adult females are alcoholic or divorced or express an extreme distaste in their child. Oh no. After purchasing 4735 and returning home, the adult female her hereafter referred to as 40 as dash one will proceed to extract a bottle of child preparative liquid and apply it to the child's head. This oh. renders the child unconscious, similar to being put under an anesthesia prior to surgery. Following the following preparation, Dash 1 will extract the child's brain using the no-no scissors to remove small portions of the frontal lobe. Dash 1 will then proceed to reinsert the brain and structure the child's head clothes. The child have no observed effects of of impeded or ceased biological function. Victims of Dash 1 will not retain memory of being operated on. Dash 1's will cease being affected upon removal of 4735 instances from their home. Upon questioning, Dash 1 instances will claim their actions were an definite improvement of the demeanor of the child. Note, upon discovery, 47 collected instances of 4735 have been removed from store shelves. One confiscated instance had operation notes and the other relevant documentation located around the house and in a zipper pocket unique to that instance. Dear Diary, my name is Charles Jackson II, but you can call me Charlie. 
We're gonna be such good friends, Diary. My daddy got this for me to write stuff in whenever I feel alone. So I'll probably write a, a lot in here because I don't have a lot of friends. Bye for now, though. I have to go eat dinner. Dear Diary, I went over to Mommy's house today. She was regular, but then she drank a lot of that wine stuff. There were like a whole mountain of bottles, and it stunk like really bad. Like if someone popped a dead skunk. Then Bill, who's Mommy's new guy, told me to go watch some TV. So I did. I heard them yell about some guy named Al for a little bit. Then the theme for the Super Dudes came on, so I started singing and it went away. The Super Dudes fought Blabber again, but then Shooter Sam shot him with his crystal blast. So Blabber exploded and they made pineapple jello out of his leftovers. Which I thought was funny, so I looked for Mommy to tell her and she got angry and slammed the door in my face. So I cried and she told me to shut up, so I did and just watched the next episode. But I got a little tired, so then I went to sleep for a little. Then when I woke up, I'm gonna go to sleep for real now, though. So bye. Oh, jeez. Oh no, I'm I'm starting to notice a pattern with the notes. You'll see it eventually. Dear Diary, today I woke up and felt a little funny because I think I slept too long. I remember waking up at night because I heard the door, but it was just Mommy coming back from the store. She buyed cookies for me, so I ate one and she said she had another thing for me, but she gave it to me after I was asleep. So I laid down and she touched my head and I fell asleep. I told Dad and he said next time I shouldn't watch too much TV before bed. I don't think I should because that's what bad kids do. Dear Diary, today I woke up and felt funny again, but I think this time it was because I had too many cookies. But my head hurts a lot. I went back to Mom, Mom E's house today and she said I was being a bad boy for telling Daddy. And she said bad boys need a lot of rest so they can be fixed. So then she laid me down and tapped my head and said she fixed me up. Fix me so I would not be a disappointment anymore. I don't want to be a disappointment. De Dear Diary, today I tried out Julia's dollies because she always wanted me to play with her. So I was, then Mom E came and got angry. And she said, boys do not play with dolls, but I was doing it for the right reason. It's toys, I thought. So I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. If you know Diary, please, please tell me toys is toys. You see the pattern? Yeah. Dear Dor Dory, I came back... I, I got it. I, I'm kind of reading as if I'm reading errors on purpose. Well, I feel like it's okay to not add the errors um, because they're doing their best to write it. It's not the kids' fault the, the parents suck. Okay, I guess I'll just read it normally then. Dear Diary, I came back from school today and I've started getting tired and for forget a lot so I got a lot of me needs improvement on my report card which made me so s made me sad so I hid it in my backpack when I came home to mommy she looked at it and yelled and got very a very angry because she said she did not want a dumb child I don't think I'm a dumb child I don't want to be a dumb child it will hurt my mommy's feelings Dear Diary, today everything hurts because Mommy hit me again. She was sad I wasn't a good boy like she wanted me to be. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll try harder next time. I don't remember what I need to do. I said I, wouldn't, I would try harder, Mom. I'm so sorry. Just stop. I'm so tired. I don't know what else I can do better. I'm sorry for disappoint. I think... I get why they say they put the kid down that has been affected. Yeah. They don't really have toys. Yeah. Note, upon recovery of the aforementioned SCP-4735 instance belonging to one May Jamison, formerly married to Charles Ray Jackton, 
23 samples of human frontal lobe tissue were found in a plastic zip top bag in Miss Jemson's freezer. DNA analysis found the remains matching those of seven year old Charles Jackton II, the divorced couple's son. This theory is that the amount of the frontal lobe in the freezer would have consisted of 57.1% of Charles' overall brain mass. Oh, gee. The method by which Charles remained alive with little brain mass is unknown. Charles Jackson II's location is currently unknown. Oh, no. She murdered her own son, didn't she? Yeah, so it looks like the anomaly can make you lose a lot of your brain mass and still live. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. But it also it also looks like it doesn't affect like uh men. It's just it's women. Well we don't know that. I think it said it was like typically the adult female oh wait, yeah it's uh, hold on. Clarence is starting to care about child for the limits. Uh, this is act, act compulsory effects on their purchasers, adult females between the age of 35 to 55. They, so it is adult females. Oh. It's specifically women. So if a, if a human male picks it up, they're not going to be affected. Alright, so let me get this. Oh my god. The thumbnail. Oh no. Four, because that's that's not appropriate. It's not. I mean Jesus fuck. Us this is a very dark SCP yeah. like this. Not not that I, I I'm I'm terrified to see what the video is because the way it's written, it's written well enough that it's not overly bad. You know what I mean by that? Yeah. I'm terrified how they're going to do in the video. Uh... Oh my god. Alright. Let's get ready for the video. Oh wait. Creative Commons license? Yes. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Now, this is, this is the first time where the conscience system will actually make fucking sense. Yeah. Ow, Zonju said it turned you into a Average right when you're. Oh my god. The stitches went around the child's entire what head. What the fuck? Whoever had performed the procedure had the skill of a surgeon. Though grotesque and unsightly due to the nature of the operation, the quality and like. detail of the work yeah. was second to none. Poor kid. Tell me if I'm way off base on this one, Doc. But how is he even alive? I don't know. It's as you say, he should be dead. Oh my gosh, his voice actor is different too! Look up very fast. How uh the amount of brain someone needs to live. You want me to play the video while you're looking it up? I am looking it up right now. Mm-hmm. Twenty-five percent. So they're not only making it so you have 55% gone, 57% uh, gone, it's kind of insane. Yeah, so 50, so that much being gone, you can survive it, but that doesn't mean your brain would work. So. You pretty much be close to being brain dead, right? Something like that? So, I think that would depend on the part of the brain yeah. uh, removed. I know the hippocampus has memory, and that is, I believe, right above our the the reptilian part of our brain. 
that has all of our emotions and the front uh the front top part of the brain that is where all our imagination goes yeah as in that's where we where where we're able to store our our thoughts where we can plan it literally gave us the ability to Yeah. All right. Did you just see lizard planning? Yeah. All right. Are we ready to see how bad they're going to mess this one up? The oh. gray mass on top of the gray mass surrounding our brain that wrinkles up also has information. Ah. Also, different parts of the brain do different things. Right. But, so, yeah, it, it's not just about the amount, it's about what it does. So, even if you're missing like a something percent, It'll still fuck you up. Right. Anyways, are we ready to see how badly you're gonna fuck this one up? Okay, yeah, let's let's see it. It appears as if someone has removed over fifty-seven percent of the frontal lobe, yet his biological functions are normal. Oh my he gosh, it's a child the they couldn't find. find. Out if there's any cognitive effect though? Welcome back. Right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I only said that because they said fifty-seven percent. The house was decrepit yeah. and smelled like oh my god. Booze. It was no fit home for an adult, let alone a child. Mrs. Jameson, is your husband around? And could you tell us what happened to your son Good Charles Lord. Jackson the second? Oh my gosh, they mentioned the yeah. Charles. That kid was Charles. Okay, well, they're divorced, so I'm not sure why they're acting like yeah. Out of here? That runt. Ain't nothing happened to him. Nothing less than he deserved. Bouncing around and caterwauling while I'm trying to watch the TV. That boy needed correcting. And I done it, but good. Sounds to me like you need a little correcting yourself. And I, I think I I'm the guy the for the job. Talk. I'll ask you kindly to watch your tone, sir. Oh, you back up, eh? What you gonna do? I'll whoop you. Ma'am, how exactly what did you correct Charles? Well, with that all... Uh, I think it's the, um, the other guy, her boyfriend. Oh, her boyfriend, the asshole. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. the asshole. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, Bill. Who's mommy's new guy. Yeah. That's probably Bill. One child back thing over there. She pointed across the room to a dark black bag, not dissimilar to an older style doctor's bag. Kloss pulled a card from the bag. It read, All in One Child's Home Solution. Within the bag was a small eight ounce bottle labeled Child Preparative Liquid, as well as a pair of no-no scissors and what looked to be a standard surgical well? kit. Wait, hold on. Standard surgical kit along with eight ounces described as child protect. Kind of yeah, with liquid and scissors. Like top of the the article. Yeah. No, as in look at the top of the article. The top of the article. Yeah. See, that's the bag. Wait. Yeah. The bags don't match. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Mm hmm. Also, the contents don't match either. Yeah. Kloss looked up at Chen and nodded his head. Pretty clear cut. Take her in. It's not as simple as that. She clearly performed the operation to correct the child, but there's no way she has the skills or knowledge for that procedure. Not to mention how the boy is even still alive. The bag is anomalous. So we round up the kits we find, lock that nut job up, and case closed. No, there's someone behind this. Someone very intelligent and highly skilled in the surgical arts. What? Sounds like we got ourselves a sort of Jack the Ripper. Indeed. What? I think we need to talk to my old professor. All right. Let me know how it goes. Come on. He's not that bad. Yeah. Right. Suck it up, Chan. He's on our side. That's what you all keep telling me. Oh, God damn it. They self-inserted themselves. Yeah, 
Well, like I said, why aren't they looking for other bags? Why are they stopping at one bag? Because apparently they believe there's like an anomaly or an organization behind it. The... It doesn't say in the file that there's a group behind it. Yeah, there I mean, isn't. Honestly, if there was a group behind it, I would highly believe it be either Marshall Carter and Dark or the Factory. Because it's both right up their alleys. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but we don't know because nothing is like it. So yeah. This is just fan fiction at this point. It's not yeah. actually fan fiction, honestly. Actually, it it's most actually it would probably lead, if it was an organization, it would probably lead more to Marshall Cart and Dark, because the factory would just spit them out somewhere. Well, Marshall oh, Cart and Dark would try right. to sell it. Yeah. So yeah. But for once, something really fucked up isn't made by them. <laughs> Yeah, for once, it's just its its own thing, popping up on its own. <laughs> yeah. The room was a throwback to a more decadent time. Oh my god. Heavy wood and leather adorned the office. A curious mismatch to the clean and sterile walls of the foundation. Good afternoon, Professor. Ah, Kloss. It's been too long, my old pupil. And they changed it again! <laughs> what a gracious pet he is. Ha, ha, ha. Maybe try a new joke next time on our annual visit to the geriatrics oh, department. Oh, like it. Everyone, seen... this is my favorite place to go to. That's why I get pregnant so many times. Oh, thank you for the... Oh my god. Thank you for the raid, Pudgy Hedgehog. I appreciate it. Um, We're basically raiding uh, SCP content farms and showing how bad they are. And yeah. they're very bad. <laughs> The SCP we're looking at right now is SCP-4735. It literally, it is an SCP that lures uh, women around the age 35 to 45 who at least have one child under the age of 11 to purchase it. And it, then do once, surgery on the brain. <laughs> yeah, once they purchase it, they will... Well... Some bags have instructions, some don't, but the, the moms always seem to know how to use it. It's use an SCP, it. so it's an anomalous property of it, I'm sure. Yeah. And they will use a liquid to make the child fall asleep, then scissors to cut open the head and remove parts of the child's brain. Yeah, out of the frontal lobe, specifically. Yes, the frontal lobe. The part of the brain that actually helped us evolve into better intelligence was yeah. actually quite intelligent. But all their intelligence and evolution, the brain, was around hunting, not visualization. Ours revolved around vi visualization and imagination, which helped us be able to think better, which allowed us our... Uh, our stone tools to evolve to a point further than Neanderthal's stone tools were. Yeah. So yeah, if you're, if you find that uh, anyone who's watching that came in with the raid, if you find that a bit uncomfortable, it's a bit of a content warning before the video continues. Yeah, content <laughs> warning. This does touch child abuse, and we are currently watching a content farm deal with it. So. While the SCP uh, file itself deals with it in a respectable manner, the content farm does not. Yeah. I, I repeat, the content farm does not deal with this in a respectable manner. So be be aware. Yeah. Anyways, in three, two, one. <laughs> Millennia pass. The necessity to come up with a new, new joke what the for the entertainment of a biped like you is an unnecessary waste of resources. Nonetheless, I am glad to see you, James. Good to see you too, Professor. They laid out the contents on the table as Kloss and Chen went over the case with the Professor. A surgeon of most delicate skills. As you That's say, besides you, Kloss, the, I can... Image. Yeah. 
could think of only one other student that would fit the bill. Wait a minute. The professor was your actual professor? It was a long time ago. How do you think I ended up at the foundation? Wow. Hadn't the slightest clue. <laughs> Sergei Kovnetsky. Brilliant mind. The intelligence of a grand master with the steady hands of a brain surgeon. What? Gifted, but a little unorthodox. This work bears his mark. Start there. Thank what? you, Professor. Yeah, thanks, Professor. It wasn't what they had expected or hoped to find. The man Klaus had known as Sergei had suffered a severe psychotic episode years before and was now considered deranged and dangerous. Don't see how this could be our man. He's been locked up here for ages. Yep, yeah, dead end. Klaus? Is it you, old friend? Sergei, it's good to see you. I'd ask how you've been, but clearly not well. Ah, things can always be worse. It's so okay. full nice of you to visit us. What the fuck's Even going on? My family doesn't come. I don't know. Anymore. It has nothing to do with I don't with recall you TV. ever married. Right. No, I didn't, but I did have a son, Alexander. Worthless child. So intelligent, just like his old man. Is he gonna, are you gonna say that it's a, it only affecting him when it only affects women? <laughs> We'll find out. But undisciplined and wild. He needed correcting. Klaus shot a wild oh, look at no. Chen. Did you say Wait, was that puppy playtime on the TV? Yes, what of it? A child needs to be corrected <laughs> when they mishap, no? Where is your son now? Yes it is! What Who the fuck? <laughs> he hasn't visited in many years. Last I heard, he married some drunk and had it. What was that, Jerry? Uh, what was that, Jerry? What did you say? They changed the effects of the SCP. Yeah. Very much so. So it's probably going to get really bad. The child. The child know better than him, I expect. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, okay. I doubt it. But I think it's time to go anyway. Ah. Thank you, Sergey. They rushed back to the foundation and to May Jameson's holding cell. What? Mrs. Jameson, what is your husband's full legal name? What? Why do you care? Please, just tell us. Charles Ray Jackson, duh. Why y'all think my boy's name is Charles II? Sheesh. I don't get it. What's the husband got to do with any of this? Shut up and Nothing. listen. Mrs. Jameson, what was your husband's name before he changed it? She raised an eyebrow. How'd you know about that? Tell me now. Don't see why that matters. But it was Alex. Alexander Kovnetsky. What? They, Any instances of SCP-473? The name and pop. They're changing the name of the character. Okay. Yeah. Also, how the hell did you sexualize this SCP? They found a way. You found a way to sexualize an SCP involving child. Uh, oh my god, that sounds so bad. <laughs> it is. It is bad. <laughs> ten out of ten, bad. Bad. Okay. Bad. Let's hopefully get into this. Three five are to be pulled from store shelves. If an SCP-4735 affected subject is discovered, any blood relatives under the age of 11 are to be removed from their household under the guise of school camp until the instance of SCP-4735 is removed from their household. Any children affected by SCP-4735-1 are to be humanely euthanized. SCP-4735 refers to a series of canvas bags labeled as the All-in-One Child's Home Solution. Contents of the kit include a standard surgical That's kit, along with an 8-ounce ball described. Yeah, it's not the bag. Also, that's, that's the bag. Also, the scissors are different. I just noticed that the scissors are different. Yes, that's because it has more than scissors. It also has different cutting tools. You see that hook thing? That's a type of cutting tool. Yeah. Also, if you notice, it has a lighter, it has... Oh, yeah. All sorts of things people would use. I think it even has disinfecting wipes. Yeah. 
These are all just older versions of modern tools. Yep. It does child preparative liquid and scissors with no no scissors engraved on their left blade. SCP-4735 instances exact compulsionary effects on their purchasers, adult females between the age of 35 to 55, who have at least one child under the age of 11. Typically, the adult females are alcoholic or divorced, or express an extreme distaste in their child. Those weren't After scissors. After purchasing yeah. SCP-4735 and returning home, the adult female, hereafter referred to as SCP-4735-1, will proceed to extract a bottle of child preparative liquid and apply it to the child's head. This renders the child unconscious, similar to being put under anesthesia prior to surgery. Following preparation, SCP-4735-1 will extract the child's brain using the no-no scissors to remove small portions of the frontal lobe. SCP-4735-1 will then proceed to reinsert the brain and suture the child's head closed. The child will have no observed effects of impeded or ceased biological function. Victims of SCP-4735-1 will not retain memory of being operated on. SCP-4735-1s will cease being affected upon removal something? of SCP-4735. Why would you remember something if you weren't aware for it? Yeah. That's like saying you can't see what's around you when you're asleep. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Five instances from their home. Upon questioning, SCP-4735-1 instances will claim their actions were an definite improvement of the demeanor of the child. The responsibility of a parent is to educate, love, and raise their child. Never is correction an acceptable method. Be careful what ill-thought-out punishments you administer to your young ones. One day they might be the ones administering them to you. As always, have a care, uh, and remember to subscribe, like, and share. If they have if you would. User, Until tell next time, people how farewell. to raise their children. I don't know, but one thing that bothers me most is why the is Poppy Playtime in a video? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, removal of characters. Not I feel like we need to add two because but they alter them so much. Yeah. I'm gonna get, I want a high score for blood and gore and violence. Because at the end, they were showing other children having, watching yeah, the surgery. Yeah. Like, that didn't happen in the article. That's not even how normally it would work. It has to be one child alone. And I think it's a four on changing the plot. Yeah. And the the removal of women, they women, but they technically changed the SEP in a way yeah. where it doesn't affect where it affects not only women. So yeah. I feel like that's a two. That's true. Yeah. Twenty percent. Oh, it wasn't as easy. But for some, but the, the, for some reason, I feel like this the rating only goes so far because when it came to uh, something like, let's say three five. Three one. It may have gotten a zero, but it wasn't something that would emotion yeah. someone with how they altered it. Yeah. I, I feel like there's something worse in it, even though it's got a. Hmm. Yeah. That's true. Okay, let's look back. Is there anyone else? Hold on. I'm gonna look back at it. Oh, wait a minute. I also forgot. They also removed the the special card. Yes, they did.
And they removed the diary. Oh, wait, we should change it to a three. Because even though they were there, they didn't do any of Charles Jackman's stuff. Oh, you're right. So that would actually make it a 10%. Okay. That's a bit better. <laughs> Wait, would I it be? Like no, it would be 15%. Why am I say 10? 15% makes more sense. Also, I feel like we need to give a special badge of don't watch. Yeah. I mean, all of these are don't watch, but that one is especially bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah.